Hey, what's happening guys? I have a classic circuit you should know today. This is a transconductance amplifier. As you can see here, we've only got a couple of components. We've got a trimmer potentiometer, an op amp, an LED, and a resistor. So in this case, the op amp that I'm using is a TL072, which is a dual op amp, but you can see I'm only using one side of it. Uh, we have a 10k pot and we have a 4.7k resistor now you'll notice here the op amp is set up with VCC and negative VCC and that's what you see going on down here okay so here's my regular power supply outputting 12 volts and our positive VCC is right here and our ground is coming to the blue line right here. Now this little 12 volt power supply got off a of wish. It's coming over here and it's positive, 12 volt positive, is going right here to the negative. And it's negative, this yellow wire, is coming over here to be our minus 12 volts. So let me show you what I mean with the meter. See if we can get this all in here. Okay. So, incoming 12 volts ground. So you see we have positive 12 volts. Now, if I take my positive pin and put it here on the negative VCC, we get negative 12 volts. So, what is the point of a transconductance amplifier? It is a voltage to current amplifier. So as I adjust this trimmer, you can see I have total control over the brightness of this LED. It's quite nice actually. Let's see if I can't uh, get a current reading off there. Alright guys, hope you can see this well enough. We're all the way down and as I start turning that potentiometer we get a little bit of light here and you can see we are at 0.19 milliamps and even cranked full up we're at 1.72 milliamps. So this is a very accurate way to control the current that you are outputting. That's about the lowest there. 0.03 milliamps. That's pretty nice. So, what's the benefit of this? Well, like I said, it allows very precise control of the current that is being output to whatever you need to output current to you have extremely tight control over it and this being a, a, a digital IC you can gate it with another IC so you can control current here without ever needing to use resistors you're simply controlling it with the op amp and the transconductance it's really simple I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to all the patrons. I could not be here and do this without the patrons. If you're not yet a patron, there's a link down below. And if you can't find the link, it's patreon.com slash learnelectronics. Dollar a month is all we ask. Help keep things going. And God bless every one of you who have already signed up before and are supporting this channel. This is a community, and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.